How's it going, YouTube? Liam from Leaves Australia here, and welcome to Let's Play Medieval Dynasty. Now, I honestly don't know much about this game. I have not read anything into this uh, by um, many of the articles that review some of the games. I have not seen any other videos about this game. The only time that I saw this game was on the Steam's page, on the front Steam page, or the home page, I guess you could say. Uh, but that's it. Other than that, I have not really dug deep into what this game is all about. But, I have been wanting to give this game a go since I saw it. It's been on my wish list for quite some time now. Uh, because of the Steam Summer Sale that just happened, um, I'm going to give this game a proper go. So, yeah, that's all I can really say. Um, so, let's get to it. Um, ooh. Uh, Tulips Productions and Render Q present. I used to have a simple life. Whatever needed doing round the farm, I'd do it. <laughs> Being the eldest son, it's tough. But at least we had a living, and our plates were never empty. Then, the war came. Oh. I lost everything overnight. The last thing I remember is father pushing me away, yelling for me to run, to live. At first, I didn't know what to do. Then, I remembered. A story my mother once told me. A story about my uncle, Jordan. He made a modest fortune up north, in a peaceful valley far away from the war. For weeks I held on to that thought, until the valley from my mother's stories, I could see it. This is where I can start a new life. Medieval Dynasty. Okay, I was not expecting a story, because for what I saw, I thought it was like, um, like, you get to create your own character. Oh, unless customize is what that does. But there's actually a story mode to this. I was not expecting that. Okay. So the one thing I did sort of notice... New quest. Starting a new life. So one of the things I did notice is that... So there's uh, survival elements into this. So... As you can see, we have a hunger, we have a health, I think we have a thirst bar as well. And we also have a stamina bar. Look at this. I'm okay, trying to render it in and all. Wow. This actually does look pretty cool. But what I've noticed is that, so the reviews for this game is very positive as what Steam has um, showed off. So some people do enjoy this game for what it is. What I'm gathering that is that, um, so there's definitely seasons with this game. Um, I know that there is a winter theme uh, at some point, but right now I think we're in spring? Spring? Summertime, maybe? Alright. So chapters is right there. So we've got some skills. So there's some small RPG elements in this, I think. So we have extraction, hunting, farming, diplomacy, survival, and production. Okay. And I think by doing certain things, that's how we gain stuff. We have our inventory. Uh, who are we? We are Rakamir, I believe that's how you pronounce it. H A T. Wow. What the heck is that thing? Hey! What are you doing? Oh, and she just made it shrink and vanish through her hand. Okay! <laughs> Is that who I need to talk to? Alright. Hey, stranger! What brings you to our valley? You don't look like a merchant or a pilgrimage. Uh... uh no, my name is... There's gonna be a lot of, like, medieval names. That is going to be hard to pronounce because of that time. Uh, I came from the south looking for my uncle. Uh, I forgot how you pronounce it. 
I'd... Ah, yes, he told me once about his life on the river. Uh, you came to the right place, but a few years too late, I'm afraid. Why that? What happened to my uncle? Um, he was a great man and even better friend. As a good uh, craftsman and an excellent trader, he made a small fortune here. See the tavern over there? He built and ran it, as well as uh, many other shops you will find in the valley. Uh, my to mother told me that he got wealthy in the north. I had no idea ha how wealthy, but that doesn't answer my question. Uh, your uncle got himself killed, my friend. Uh, he had this idea of huge trade with the German kingdom to in the west. Ah. Uh, five carts filled with the best iron ore. Uh, beautiful coloured uh, linen and our excellent beer. Uh, pulled by ten oxen, he was not fooling around. I can tell that much. So what happened? How did he die? Uh, his trek got ambushed by bandits. Ah, of course. Uh, his cart is slaughtered. Uh, he must have put up a good fight. Took two of them to death for what we saw when he s we searched for him. Uh, I buried him myself, or better, what the walls left behind. Uh, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. My uncle is dead, his wealth is gone, I came all this way for nothing. Don't say that. I wouldn't let a uh, nephew of... Uh, how you pronounce it, go to waste. Even if most villagers for forgot fast, they what they owe your uncle, I have no intention to join them here. Uh, I am a I am the Castellian, and my word still carries weight. So tell me, uh, can you build your own fortune? Uh, I can craft simple tools, I can collect my necessities from the wilderness, I know how to count and to barter. That's good enough. Uh, I may ha not have goods or gold to offer, but you can have as much land here as you want. Uh, not sold, but granted to your, but granted to you for for life. Uh, build a house, grow vegetables, uh, keep some livestock, and follow your uncle's dream. Are you serious? My own land, as much as I want, as much as you put to good use, my boy. As long as you pay your taxes. I understand. Do you have any advice for me to start off with? Uh, you can cut down trees to build your house. Weeds grow by the river. Uh, it will work well for a roof. Uh, do you have some food with you? Not much. Uh, if necessary, you'll find several vendors in our village. If you don't have enough money for food, you can always look for mushrooms in the forest or hunt animals. Uh, maybe I can earn some coins somehow. Sure, you can talk to people here in or in other villages. Maybe someone will pay for your help. Thank you so much for the advice. It's time to find the right place. All right, uh, let me see. I have something special for you. This is the hammer your uncle used to build the house in which he grew uh, He grew old. Uh, what better tool could you use to build your first house here? Thank you so much. See you next time. All right, so, okay. I sort of got ahead of myself with the tutorial, but we have the tab menu. Uh, okay, so this is, um, Allows you to access inventory skills, general management technology, explore their functions and information they provide. Um, uh, lets you create a wide array of items and buildings. Um, inspect mode. Ooh. Um, the inspector mode lets you see where the villages are in the area around you, as well as your items on the ground, like spears. Uh, you can also see the stats of NPCs you are about to recruit. Inspect mode. The inspector mode uses stamina with talents you can upgrade it as well ah okay that makes sense all right a new quest chapter one a new oh okay so a new beginning find ten sticks two stone a stone axe uh, cut trees uh, find some straw and build your first house Wow okay Ooh, what an interesting start to this game. I was not expecting a proper story mode. That's the thing that got me, actually. Ah, okay. So we can grab six from the bushes. <laughs> Don't mind me, ma'am. I'm just... <laughs> I'm just stealing the sticks. <laughs> oh, but I'm curious of, like, what kind of other stories we can encounter in in this game. Because this is definitely a, a game that I will be happy to stream over on Twitch, too. Alright, so that's the quick inventory. Uh, 
no torch in... Ah, okay, so there's a torch button. Oh, so that's the, uh, that's the crafting menu. Okay. At least we know where to look for for stone. Okay, so now... We can build a stone axe. Alright, next goal is to cut some trees down, which... I'll leave these trees here, because I always like I always like some trees to have a little bit of space. I'll probably grab some from up towards back to where we started. And leave the trees nearby the village. Okay, so some... Okay, so the dried meat gives a lot of... Um, A lot of food back. So right now when it comes to water, the only thing I can rely on is some apples. Until I get, um... Until I can grab myself a bottle. Or whatever the actual correct term of it is back here in the medieval times. But that's what I find so fascinating, especially in this time period. Like, I'm assuming that this game is basically its own story and not um, based on any sort of real life historical events, which that would be kind of funny if that was the case, but um, I'm more referring to the, um, like figuring out like what the names of most of the items were back in the medieval times that we don't necessarily refer to them like that. Oh, oh, hello Fox. Go on, run away, I won't hurt you. Timber! <laughs> oh, I got a feather. Well, okay, so... <laughs> um, so that's how it's gonna be, huh? <laughs> oh, okay, so it acts up like, um... Hydration is crucial in the wilderness. When water, uh, param when the water parameter is depleted, you will start losing health. Uh, you can refill by drinking various beverages. Water can be stored and transported in buckets or and the water skin. That's the name of the bottle. Okay, a water skin. So I need to cut two more trees down. Grab some more of these because they'll come in here. Oh, mushrooms! I remember actually watching a video of, um, oh, what was the channel? It was the Townsend's channel. Whoop. Hello again, Mr. Fox. I'm not going to hurt you. Don't worry. Um, watching the Towns, uh, watching a video from the Townsend's channel. And he was uh, talking about those particular mushrooms. So you have that particular type of mushroom, which are non-poisonous. But there is another kind of mushroom that looks like uh, a moral... I don't I'm not sure that's how you pronounce it correctly. But there is another type of mushroom that looks like this kind of mushroom. But it is the poisonous kind. And the way that you can tell is that the inside of the, of the, the moral mushroom is hollow. There's nothing inside it. Even the stem, I believe, if that's correct. The stem doesn't have anything inside it. While the other type of mushroom, I forgot what the name of the mushroom is, but it's the imposter mushroom, we'll call it. It actually does have stuff inside it, and that's the only way that you can tell and determine if that is that that is not a proper morale mushroom. That's a poisonous counterpart of the same mushroom. Uh, what else can I buy? Or what else can I make, actually? Oh, I can create firewood. Okay, that's cool. Wooden spear and a wooden hoe. Okay. The spear will definitely come in useful for hunting fish. So, I'll make a spear. Still over-encumbered, but... 
All right, show what you got. So I think the thing I need to look for is... Alright, let's use my mouse and keyboard for this. Uh, let's see. Wow, you do have a good amount of stuff, but I'm looking for... Okay, a pair gives a good amount of water. Okay, salted, salted type meat decreases water. Okay, that's good to know. 120 for freaking vegetable soup. Wow. Well, I guess in some fairness, it's not kidding around. <laughs> All right. Okay, that's good to know. That's good to note, though. I'll go now. Bye bye. All right. So, I guess the only way I can get some water is to actually visit the um. Is to visit the river, I think. I have a feeling that I might get a little bit sick from this, but uh, oh well. What more can you do? Okay, maybe not. Alright, so I need to cut more and more string. I still need straw, unless I need to find... Um, Maybe there has to be a particular field that I need to find that has straw. Although, we could talk to some people that can, can use our help. Like this guy here. Hello. Uh, hello there. Can I help you with something? Hello, could you help? Uh, I'm elderly person and I'm unable to craft tools. Can you please bring me an axe? I won't forget to reward you for that. I can certainly do that. I actually do like the sound of the gaining a quest. That's pretty cool. Um, all right. Hey, here's the axe you wanted. Thank you so much. I know crafting recipes from my old days. I'll show you to them. Thank you. Ah, so we now ha have the crafting for a workbench. Okay. Interesting, and it's becoming nighttime, so I'll need to act a little bit quickly. <laughs> Alright. Hello! Uh, can I help you with something? Uh, dear sir, can you help me with an errand? What's it about? Uh, I pledged to create some paints for local folk, but I ran out of ingredients. I reward you, of course. Uh, sure, why not? I have some spare time. Alright, old rags. So, what do you need? Uh, deliver to... Leather. I need leather. Okay. Right. To sleep, you'll need to build a house and craft... Or craft a campfire. Sleeping is available between 7pm and 7am. Uh, if you choose to sleep, your character will wake up the next morning. Sleeping in your bed restores small amounts of health, whilst resting in a campfire does not. That makes sense. Okay. So, I think it's just hit 7 now. Fair enough. Now, I'm not sure if... Because I believe this game is still... That guy was slightly slendering a little bit. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if this game will have voice acting. Because, as you can see with the uh, version update at the top left corner of the screen, this game is still in early access, so... Still technically in beta. Um, that would be pretty cool, though, if they did add voice acting. Because that would make... Um, the story-driven experience a lot more interesting. So, uh, fingers crossed for that. But if there is a voice acting, that's alright. <laughs> I'll enjoy doing voices again. Uh, but now, let's see. Flowers! So I need to find stone, and then leather is definitely going to be a, uh, going to be an interesting one to find. Campfires, that's what we're looking for. Alright, 